That sounds pretty good. Well, we're back at the Home Time Log Cabin in northern Wisconsin. Now, it's been a while since we covered a major project up here. Most of the recent visits we did had to do with the timber shed we framed up a few yep. years ago, then basically took our time applying the finishing touches. Those include the clay tile roofing we applied to the top of the whole thing. It's a system we've used on a couple of houses, and it just seemed to fit in with the natural surroundings, so we're going to apply it to the cabin here as well. Well, I just want to give you a quick look at the tile that we're going to be using. This is a clay tile. It's interlocking, so as you can see, these just go together like this. That helps shed the water from the roof. We're using a four-color blend. We have a couple greens, a plum color, kind of like you see in the, in the stone, and then sort of a gray color. And this is a product we think will last at least a good 75 years. Now a roof will only last so long, you want to make certain that the membrane and underlayment will last as long as the material you're installing. The adhesive membrane goes on the eaves, rakes, and valleys, and then the underlayment goes on the rest of the roof. Now we just happen to be using an underlayment made by the same manufacturer that does so much of the house wrap that builders and remodelers are familiar with. Well, I have Keenan Watson here today to talk about the underlayment that we're going to be putting on the roof. So, Keenan, this is uh, quite a bit different from the 30-pound uh, felt we put up uh, not quite, what, 30 years ago. That's right, yeah. So this is a new and improved synthetic underlayment. Uh, really excited about. This is our new line within Tyvek. We're going from the walls onto the roof. Uh, in terms of installation, uh, is it going pretty much like any other roofing underlayment? So that's right. This install pattern is no different. We have a, a nice print plate on top that shows the installer where they need to place the, the caps and staples. So we uh, recommend cap staples or cap nails. Okay. Um, and Overlay it, overlap it up to this So there's point. your overlap, bring it on the next layer. And we recommend those caps for strength and, okay. and also watershed. And what's the material makeup? What, what goes into that? Yeah, so this is a four layer system. On the back, there's a, a grip for a grip of the deck. On the top, there's an embossed pattern for walkability. And in between, you have two layers, one scrim for strength and a, a water resistive barrier. There's no adhesive on the back, which makes it uh, easy to reposition. The other part is the unique texture on the backside. When weight is added to it, it allows this product to get gripped to the deck. Okay, that, that makes sense. So what's the deal with this embossed pattern? You have like these little elevated triangles. Right, so that elevated loft is there for the walkability. Um, there's also channels to, to channel down water and in the instance of uh, sawdust getting up on the roof. This product was designed to help reduce the chances of slipping while on the roof. It's going to be a lot easier for our guys to move up and down that 812 pitch. So i got to tell you, the reason we picked this is uh, we have a, a roof material going up here that's going to be up there a good 50 years, and uh, hopefully this will hang in there with it. Yeah, and that's why you're using our Tyvek ProTech 200. It's a more durable product, really, really strong, and, and will give you that 50-year warranty. Well, excellent. So 50 years from now, when I'm not around, maybe my ghost will come back. And, <laughs> and that's right. Place. Well, thanks so much Thank for you. joining us. All right. So I just want to ask you a couple. So you're, you're a roofing expert. 